What I absolutely love about this is that we're in Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery, gilded frame, very, very expensive mount, and it looks perfect. But it's just a sketch, isn't it? He's just trying things out. This is as close as you're going to get to actually inside the mind of someone. It's the pure artist doing his basic thing before anyone else is meant to see it. That's the extraordinary thing about all of, pretty much all of Leonardo's drawings, that they were made by him for his own use and in his studio. Mm. Some of them are preparations for final artworks, but a lot of them are just him working things out and him being fascinated with the world and investigating the world around him. What I love about this is here we are looking at a very serious Leonardo drawing uh, and then here it's a dog looking at a compass and there's a tree in the boat. <laughs> Tell me why there's a tree in the boat. Well, people are still quibbling about why there's a tree in the boat. Uh, so there have been numerous theories about what exactly this allegory is about. So the idea behind this concept where we bring together music, pieces of choral music with Leonardo's images is to spark off the image with a piece of music or the other way around. So you end up looking at the art through the prism of the music or vice versa. In Leonardo's The Annunciation, the moment when the angel Gabriel arrives to announce that she will give birth to the Son of God, it was simply the folds of her dress and his clothing that he did, Leonardo did a lot of studies for. And it just looked so expensive and so rich to me that I thought of this piece by a um, Spanish composer called Victoria, mm -hmm. who in his two choir texture in Alma Redemptoris Mater, creates this beautiful, beautiful oral weave, a weave of sound that just reminded me of those, mm -hmm. uh, of those drawings.